All right, what's up, guys? This is for uh, some of the new people that maybe haven't uh, installed my 3D prints before and are a little uh, curious about how to pull out this bulkhead without really screwing anything up. Um, so it's, it's really, really simple. So what you need is, of course, your NanoDrag airframe, a snap blade. It's got a good amount of flex to it, nice and sharp. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to follow this bay this one's already been cut out but I'm, I'm just doing this to kind of show you you want to stay tight to the bay and then just cut all the way through on both sides okay and then what I do is I'll take and flex that blade to where it's flush to the floor and then just kind of poke into the center cutting one side all the way across flipping it and doing it again cutting the other side all the way across and then we'll turn it around and we'll do the back side the exact same way. We'll cut it all the way across, poke it in, cut it all the way across. Okay, at that point, the foam bulkhead should come right out, leaving the floor and only the spar channel because you need this to be able to glue the new one in. Okay, so once we've printed the bulkheads, and I'll, I'll pull this back a little bit so you can kind of see what we're working with. Um, now that we've printed the bulkhead, this is the V2 Ram Air. Uh, two screw situation so what we're going to do is we want to put that want to put that bulkhead exactly where we just pulled the old one from we just set that down in there get it lined up and what you could do is turn this on the bottom here and just kind of look you might see a little bit of overlapping you just kind of make some adjustments just for fitment just to see you know before you before you glue everything in so what I do is I take the spar that's actually going to sit down in here, push that all the way down to where it's flush to the top on both sides, right here to the top on both sides. And that's going to help you actually, you know, get this lined up. If you're if you're unsure if it's lined up correctly or not, that spar being in there will help help aid in that. So what I do is um, zoom back in a little bit here. So what we'll do now is now that we know that everything's fitting correctly, let's take some sandpaper, just kind of rough up the sides, and then the bottom, okay? Then we'll take a little bit of take a little bit of um, goop or welder's adhesive, put on the sides, on the bottom, get a nice bead all the way around there, on the side right here. And then we'll set that back down in there. If you have that spar in there, that spar is going to help you um, get that locked in correctly. Okay, again, you want to make sure that there's no overhanging on the inside of that channel because it's not going to allow you to put that spar in. But if the spar is already in, it's going to help you put that put that down through there. It's going to be like a no-brainer at that point. Okay, once that's completed and you have it locked in, then what I do is after the glue's dried for a few hours, uh, just let it set, you know, pull the, pull the spar out from the channels here, pull it out so it doesn't get glued in, and then let this set for a couple hours. Once it's set, then we'll take a little bit of goop, and we'll just run a nice little bead over here on the side, along the bottom, over the, the side here, and we'll do the exact same thing on the back. Just a nice, nice thick bead, okay? After that sets for about two or three hours, it's that, that goop's going to gas off and it's going to shrink and it's going to pull that bulkhead in nice and tight. It's going to lock everything in. And after that, you'll be good to go to install the rest of the stuff. So keep an eye out. I'm going to do another, another video of the, the new hinge system that I have here and the uh, SMA side bays as well. So very easy. You guys have a good day. I appreciate you. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.